Why are you recording? None of your business. Yeah, it is. I'm a customer in here. I don't want my image recorded. Then you should lock yourself in your basement. I'm going to get your rocks off, dude. Check the tires. Check the windshields. Um, check to make sure they're clean. People are taking care of them. If they're not, I get a hold of the postmaster. I give them the card number, which tires, everything. So, you guys are busy. I understand you don't have time to keep everything running. Because if you got flat tires and you hit the brakes and you run into a car, taxpayers pay for it, not you. So, we're just keeping tabs on you guys. Making sure money's being allocated in the right spaces and everyone understands that they work for the public. Good afternoon, everybody. It is a BEA beautiful day. Out again at the Leasty Post Office. Now, the first time here was a bust. The place was a dump. Uh, the supervisor was a jackass. Wouldn't even talk to me. Called the police. Police were actually pretty cool, though. They didn't really acknowledge me. Second time I came here, the inside was trashed once again. Uh, some Karen had a meltdown on me. Uh, by the end of the visit, I walked around back and there were just bin after bin after bin of mail sitting outside their, I don't know what you want to call it, Sally Port in the back. No one around, no one at all. The back of the post office is a residential area. I mean, you could grab what you wanted and disappear before anyone had any idea what was going on. This time, if the place is trashed, there's no boxes, no forms, no slips, no pens, like the last two times I've been here. This time I'm getting the postmaster's information and I will be making complaints against this, this branch again. I'll send him all three videos, depending on what goes on today. Try to get everyone's names for, oh gosh, just so we have them. You never know what you're gonna need someone's name for. So, I'm gonna finish my coffee, and then I'm gonna walk over. I'm gonna post up outside the front door. There's an overhang there and just gonna sit there and say hi to people. See if we can strike up a conversation. And hopefully we meet a couple nice people and we will go from there like normal. So I'm gonna finish my coffee and I will see you guys over there. How you doing, sir? Thank you for your service. A juvenile fight club. Awesome. Be on that call as well. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, three by eight. Can you create me up? As always, much respect for all our troops who have served, are serving, and who have paid the ultimate price. It all depends. That would have, would have been a good conversation to have on the wireless mic. I gotta screw around and figure out the settings on that. I'm just always paranoid. Then I'm gonna get it all done and 
none of it's going to come out. I've had that, had that happen. I guess my lazy butt needs to do some test, test some distances, different levels of audio. Are you one of those YouTube guys? Uh, what do you mean? Do you like just stand out here and then post it on YouTube? Kind of something like that. Oh, okay. I watch a lot of those videos. I was just here, curious. I'm just going to point at you. <laughs> oh, wait. Shit. So you watch a lot of channels? So you watch a lot of channels? Yeah. Of, I, like One of them is Armagodic Press or something like that. And McGansen. And McGansen yeah. Press. Yeah, him and his son. You do similar stuff? Yeah. Perfect. Here. Uh, it's not exactly a business card, but that's the channel. Okay. What was your name? Ezekiel. Ezekiel? Yeah. What nice. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. Yeah, how's it going? Another shout out to Amagansett Press. Him and watching the Watchmen are teaching people all the way over in Washington State how to do it. Education, education, education. When I come out for twelve. What'd you say? Now or when you come out? Yeah. How about both? Want me to pose now? <laughs> What's your name? Ruche. Ruche. I'm Jeremiah. No, Ruche. Ruche. It's nice to meet you. What are you doing? Oh, I go out and just kind of film life as it happens. Well, life is very different these days. I can tell you, it's so insane to me. I mean, I feel like an alien walking around the planet. I just had my 76th birthday last month. Congrats. Yeah, well, I just don't get it. I just don't understand what's happening. And with this A artificial and I mean, AI... And just the way people are in the world today is just so crazy to me. I just, I, I don't know what happened to love and kindness and respect. Disappeared. Why? No. I, I think there's, in my opinion, there are, sorry, I'm just making sure I got you in frame. There are very, very powerful people and companies that benefit from us hating each other. I don't hate. I never did. I'm a Pisces. I'm a fit. You believe, I can't help it. You know, my daughter's a Scorpio. She always said, Mommy, you're the hug, I'm the herder. And, uh, but I just want, you know, like back in the day, we, in our day, you know, we had songs, the world needs love. We don't need another mountains and hilltops enough to climb. What we need is love in this world. Now we but, got booby shaking, twerking everywhere they can get to. I don't even understand. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 you didn't. What's your name again? Jeremiah. Jeremiah. When's your birthday, Jeremiah? Um, I'm from the 70s. No, when's your birthday? What's your sign? It's uh, Taurus. Taurus, so that in May, and April, May. Yeah. My grandmother was a Taurus, and my grandma lived to 106. Stubborn people. No, she was from one of the blue zones. You know, blue the zones. blue. I don't care, understand people don't know blue zones. There's five blue zones in this world. Okay. Japan, Italy, uh, Spain, Loma Linda, which is a seven-day Adventist, and then Costa Rica. We were seven-day Adventists. Okay. And we were not allowed to eat certain things, couldn't wear makeup, we couldn't do all these kind of stuff. But they're one of the blue zones. The blue zones are people that live to 100 and beyond. Google it. Okay. The blue zones. I promise. Yeah, you know what Anunnaki's are? The what? Anunnaki's. Anunnaki's. Anunnaki's? No idea. <sighs> I got a lot of studying to do, don't I? Well, you know, there's not really a lot of common knowledge, but they were here like over 65,000 years ago before the so-called Adam and Eve and all them people there, you know. Yeah. It, it's so insane to me. I'm learning about this myself in the Sumerians. Mm -hmm. I tell you. Boy. They're back. Sumerians were backed by Egyptians, right? Yeah. Yeah. Egyptians, Iraqis, and all of them mm -hmm. people back in the... I mean, it is so insane to me, and I'm very curious about what's, why, why this planet is like it is these days. Money. Greed. I know, but what is the point? How many damn cars can you drive at one time? How many pairs of shoes can you wear? I mean, it's just absurdity yep. to me. It's abs what you know, And that's why these here people and these here churches, you know, they have billions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Why aren't they helping the homeless exactly. people? Exactly. I you completely know, agree. I am so sick and tired of it. It's just like, it hurts my heart to see such narcissistic, mean, nasty people. What's the point? My... I'm I'm an atheist. I am too. So Thank I look you. at it, or my view at it is, if if you think this planet, the sun, the moon, the entire galaxy, 
if you think all of that was made for you, I could not think of a more arrogant, I know, entitled right. statement. I know. I know. See, I always was an atheist. Mm -hmm. I was raised by a seven day Adventist family. That's uh, no Saturdays. You can't do anything. That's right. right. Yeah. Okay. But the thing is, I told my mother, when we, I said, Mommy, I'm not going back to church no more. I was a young teenager. I said, I'm the oldest of seven children. I said, I'm not going back there. My mother said, Okay, honey, we'll just have church here in the house. And I was the leader. We talked about everything else but that. Um, and my grandmother said to me, she said, honey, if you make it up to heaven, please don't go up there complaining. I said, grandma, I ain't going to be able to help myself. And I, no, I never believed. And I said, it doesn't make sense. Cause I went to the church that had a white Jesus with blonde hair and blue. I said, if they lying to me about that, what else they lying to me about? Everything. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that because I, like I said to them at the church, I said, how come God doesn't have a wife? Where's God's wife? Why do women have to be, go through all of this here pain? I don't understand. Religion. It. Yeah, I mean, it's just crap. Crazy crazy men throughout history do whatever said, they want. How did Adam know where to put his penis? <laughs> All right, so he figured it out. But I can imagine a woman being pregnant for nine months, something growing in your stomach, and, nothing, and, and nobody ever did that before. That would drive me crazy. How does she feed the baby? How hope to deliver the baby? Well, plus. It's bull crap. For, the, for starting with two people, there's a lot. There's a lot of incest <laughs> going on. I mean, if, if that's the real reason, like, okay, that just makes absolutely no sense. I, I, it doesn't. It it's really right. doesn't. And then I said, how did Cain know? They said Cain killed Abel. Mm. How did he know pitting him in the head is going to kill him? Why would you put that on him? He didn't know. Maybe he would never do it again. But why are you going to put that on a dude that never nobody else did that? He didn't say, don't do that. It's going to kill somebody. He didn't know that. Why would you put that on him? It's stupidity to me. I'm so sorry. No, you ain't did nothing wrong. You didn't do nothing wrong. I'm trying to get, oh, I was going the wrong way with the button. There we go. No, I just don't understand it. And like, I feel like we're all on this planet trying to get to help somebody. Be kind and loving to somebody because you don't know what they're going through. And you never know what you're going to be going through. Exactly. Thank you. Thank yeah, you thank you for talking with <laughs> me. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I, I get some pretty angry people sometimes that don't want to have their photo taken. I was I'm not on America's most wanted list. And if you were, you wouldn't stop and talk to a camera. Exactly. No. Am I on? Have I been filmed? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You're doing great. <laughs> I love it. You're probably gonna make my video. Oh uh, well, you take good care of yourself I will. and continue on with your good work. Keep spreading the love. And I'm really happy to meet an atheist because most people believe in God, and it's so silly to me. It's so oh God, 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 God. Really, when is the asshole gonna show up? Because I'm a, like these people. I'm sorry, these people on Facebook say, if God came knocking at your door, would you open it? I said, please leave me alone. If God come knocking at your door, somebody else. If God come knocking. If God come knocking. I said, yes, I open the door. It's the only way I could kick his ass. Uh Good quote. I forget who it was by. I want to say it was Christopher Hitchens. Big. He's one of the four horsemen mm -hmm. of atheist. He said, if God came down, presented himself, proved everyone who didn't believe in him wrong, is he a person you would want to follow? No. It's a vindictive, petty, arrogant piece of crap. That's right. So, so even if he proved himself real, like, okay, well, why should I follow? No. Yeah. It's okay. all, I'm sorry, I keep interrupting no, you. No, no, no. I concur with you completely. That's why I like Sid Hasa. You know Sid Hasa? Mm -hmm. Sid Hasa is the Buddha. Okay. Sid Hasa is the Buddha. And I believe in the Buddha because I know he was a real person. He left his riches. He went out there into the world. He helped the hungry. He was hungry. He did all these here things. He was for real. He walked the walk. Yeah. This, this so-and-so, like, you know, I have nothing but I would just slap him upside his goddamn head, knock some sense into him. They're making a lot of money off it. It's ridiculous to me, and it's so stupid. And I said, especially black people, why would you worship a white man's God that brought you here, separated your family, raped your children, said to do all this stuff, and you're going to pray, you're going to worship their God? How stupid are you? It's amazing how people will vote against their own benefit. It's just some I people. I just don't get it. I uh, just don't get it. Yeah, I think I heard another guy the other day talk about it. And he said, you know, there's been thousands of gods yes. throughout history that's right from every walk of life around the globe thousands of gods that's right now concerning yourself like if you weren't an atheist i'd say okay well you're an atheist to those thousands and thousands of gods also we just don't agree on the last one mm -hmm. and it kind of puts it in perspective like okay yeah that makes a little bit of sense but even still they just that's they like the, the willful ignorance. I know that's what the Sumerians, and if you look up the Anunnakians, okay. starts with the A, Anunnakians, 
they were here on this planet way before Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. And they were saying, because I'm learning about this now, too, and they were saying how they could fly to other galaxies and stuff like It's really astounding, amazing. Oh, the okay. Anunnaki's. The Anunnaki's. I got it on camera. I'm good. Okay. Thank you. Forget, but it's on there. There you go. <laughs> I'll hope to see you again. Yeah. Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for talking. Thank you. Sometimes I get assaulted. No, no, no. I am a very loquacious young lady. Mm -hmm. My mother used to call me Mouse Almighty growing up as a teenager because I always got something to say. <laughs> well, you got a lot of good stuff to say. That's good. Thank you. We need more people like you. Thank you, Bob. Take care. You too. And you too. Well, that was a wonderful conversation. I wish they all could be like that. Just to remind everyone what I'm handing out to people. I think I've showed this once or twice. Kind of a... I hand them out to people that likely have problems with police. Invasion of privacy? You think this is an invasion of privacy? Yeah. And you served in the military? Yeah. What branch? Army. Yeah. You served and fought so I could do this. Now you're going to criticize the Constitution? Shameful, man. Yeah. It's sad, folks. Even a man that served his country thinks what I'm doing is an invasion of privacy. So yeah, there's the front door. And there's that long wall. That whole wall on the inside is the mailboxes, like the, the fancy mailboxes. And as always, take a second. How you doing? God, I hate that. He looked pretty harmless though. Shocking. Oh, my prescription sunglasses. Sorry. Have fun get your rocks off, dude. Very ladylike. Absolutely. Our kids must be proud. There you go. Just build it up and then hand it to you. Are you No, it's not. It's a lot of I think that's a good thing. Oh, because it's just a, there's no thing. But it's just a person that they didn't know. Oh, there's still a big one. You can try, old man. 
I wouldn't advise it though. I got good hearing. Big boy. Yeah, you're a real big man. Wow. Oh, I have to make you learn how to drive and fuck you. Hopefully, you have a better day, man. Can't go around all day that angry. Down the clown. Oh. Can you have a good day? No, honey, I don't know what I'm doing. And then also, I have this, like, What do you think? Why are you recording? None of your business. Yeah, it is. I'm a customer in here. Yeah. I don't want my image recorded. Then you should lock yourself in your basement. Huh? Yeah, just, just leave me alone. That's not the I don't know why. He's a creep. You can't show though unless you get people's permission. Though. What's that? I, I didn't think it was legal to record in the post office. You can record in any publicly accessible building. That, that means any city or government or federal office. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you think someone exercising his rights is a creeper? How are you doing today? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Jesus. Yeah. Later, creeps. What is that? Hey, Good. Good. So it looks like just one. Said I to one one care of other than yeah. one. That. I want to ask you what you're doing. What's that? I want to ask you what you're doing. Oh, working on a project. You're documenting what? Just life as it happens. Life as it's happening? Yes, sir. Uh, I object to have my picture on your camera. Well, you're in public. Pardon me? I said you're in public. I'm not in public. There's a camera over there. Yeah. Hope you have a better day. Yeah, thank you. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to show you the oldest poster seven I've seen. May 95. <sighs> No boxes. Plenty right there. That's right At least they have ones this time. Those two times I was here, they're empty. No pen. No pen. Arms are in. That's good. Looks better in here than the last time I was here. <laughs> we finally got some supplies in. I was gonna say, they look pretty shabby last time. Oh yeah, it runs pretty ragged here sometimes. Oh. For some reason. Lately, it seems worse. Yeah, it seems, it seems like it's been pretty rough. Well, I appreciate you guys being professional. Well, thank you. Once again. <clears throat> Not that I like being on camera, because I don't. Hey. Camera shy? You, you've got cameras watching you right now. Other than oh, mine. Yeah, I know. And the funny thing is I could records request those and watch you all day long. 
Yep. See, that's what people don't realize. Right. Yeah, is, exactly. Well, I think uh, one of my subscribers said it's the, the Streisand effect. Mm -hmm. Something to do with her beach house and people were taking pictures of it and she didn't want him to and it uh, ended up being a huge thing. Whereas if she would have just let him take a couple pictures and move on, nothing would have happened. Oh yeah, that's crazy. It is what it is, we're used to you. I'm surprised you haven't been back sooner. Um, I've been busy. it's been a while. I've been busy. Um, I went to the Olympia post office downtown and oh, some, some, old, some old lady attacked me. Oh, really? Oh, she came up, grabbed my bag, tried pulling me, and then she took her mail and was hitting me. And I kept cool. bobbing and weaving away from her. <laughs> Trying to get away, yeah. She's a crazy old woman. Yeah, I bet. Jeez, that's crazy. Well, I appreciate you guys. Yeah. appreciate you guys being... It looks much better in here. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah. You have a good day. You too. Are you a movie star now? I hope not. Oh, okay. So not making it. Alright. So they have a poster seven from ninety-five. And then they've got one from August 2016. That looks pretty sh Mail bins. I love signs. Yeah, this is the other end from the uh, the workers where we were. We got all of these and all of those. And then smart lockers. I'm imagining that's where you can do it on an app. Looks like regular gym lockers almost. Parcel lockers. This is a very big property for a post office, at least in, in my experience. And sorted by 11. Let's go outside. Hold on. I uh, changed my 360 battery. Yeah, this is all post office property. Not even gone out back yet. All right, guys. I'm going to walk around back. Hopefully it's much better than the last time I was there. That's funny. <laughs> Tigers look okay. Of course they are. So here's the Sally Port. Here's some vehicles. We'll check them real quick. This is where they left all the mail out last time. All right there. All those are full. And none of these trucks were here. None of these trucks were here. And there's your residential area. Well, we almost got that on camera. So anyway. Super simple if you want to come snatch some mail. I'm not advising that. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, they got dog treats in there. That's a good plus. I like that. Now, oh, here we go. 
That one's bald. That one's bald. Which one is that? Okay, we'll have to remember that. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're clean. Okay. Let's go check the van. Five, nine, three, four, four. May I ask you what you're doing? Just checking out the vehicles. For what reason? To make sure they're in compliance. With what? Federal and state regulations. Is that okay with you? Good luck with that one. Well, there's another person that doesn't give I wonder if we can get his name. Have fun with holding them accountable. That's funny. Just shows you the entitlement of some of these people. People up nice were good, or up front were great. That one's full of boxes. Do you have a question? I was just wondering what you were doing. Just checking everything out. What's that? Are you gonna put a bid in to make new trucks for all of us? No. <laughs> we'll tell you what we don't want. <laughs> hey, as far as I can see though, these ones, check the tires, check the windshields, um, check to make sure they're clean. People are taking care of them. If they're not, I get a hold of the postmaster. I give them the card number, which tires, everything. So, you guys are busy. I understand you don't have time to keep everything running because if you got flat tires and you hit the brakes and you run into a car taxpayers pay for it not you so we're just keeping tabs on you guys making sure money's being allocated in the right spaces and everyone understands that they work for the public that's it okay yeah what's your name I, i'd probably not give it do you work here on occasion then you work for the city then no did you take an oath you don't remember if you took an oath or not? No, I don't think so. No, we didn't take an oath. Wow. No. Just trying to it's always a good sign of transparency when someone doesn't want to give their name. They don't care. And that's why, because no one ever holds them accountable. They could give two if what they're doing is wrong. Maybe not those two exactly, but... So the last few times I was here, first time, had a angry, angry tyrant that he couldn't make me shut up. And there was a truck in this bay and the tyrant wouldn't even help this old man after driving all day, empty his truck. I would have helped him, but he wouldn't have let me. They still have not put up any, uh, yeah, trespassing, that one's relatively new. That one's always been there. And you got some ancient, ancient security cameras. That's like what you see in a prison, I think. I'm not a complete All right, guys, this time it went pretty well. Other than some pins being gone and, uh, oh, what was it? Some of the boxes need to be stocked up, but they had plenty sitting there. Of course, that's what they did last time, too. 
Seems to happen every time I come in for some reason. Um, Outback did good. No one flipped out. A couple people curious what I was doing, told them what I was doing, and they laughed and said good luck with that. So it's always a good sign too when people don't want to give their name. It is a BEA beautiful day, so I'm gonna head out of here. Make sure you like, save, share, comment, hit them all, I don't care. I'm gonna get out of here. Still a nice day. Clouds are starting to come in a little bit, but it's still kinda early, afternoon time, so go for a walk, see what else we can find. But until then, Always remember, you end up with what you put up with. From the post office in Lacey, Washington, we out.